Coach's Corner. I'm Joe Wamba, joined now with Ed Hoddle, head coach of the football team. And Coach, you guys make some history this year, uh, not only in individual records and you know returning the first punt for a touchdown this year, you guys make it into the NCAA tournament and travel up to Wesley. Yeah, it was it was it was a fun experience for the guys. I think uh I think it opened some eyes, you know, in our program as to what it takes to, to compete at the national level. Um the year round commitment that, that we have to have, you know, in the weight room and things like that. But you know, it was a fun trip. The guys enjoyed themselves. Obviously the outcome of the game wasn't what we wanted. Um uh, but to to go up and, and, and play a you know, a perennial national power mm -hmm. Uh, at their place in the first round of the playoffs was a great experience for me, great experience for the staff, and I think a great experience for the university as a whole. Now let's talk about some of those players, uh, mainly the seniors. They're, they finished their career record at Stevenson 30 and 13. It's mm. awfully impressive. Yeah, I mean, you, you'd look at that and, and, and know that, that six of those losses came in their freshman you know, freshman seasons. And, you know, you know 26 and uh, – what is it? 26 and – seven you know since they were sophomores mm -hmm. is, is quite remarkable um I, I know they're very proud of it i i keep telling them I've, I've said it to them probably six or seven times you know since after the last game and you know i think it's one of those things when they when they're my age they'll look back and it'll probably mean a lot more to them than it does probably today but very proud of that group it's going to be a tough group to replace um you know billy lewis jimmy lauer austin tennessee in the secondary um you know, Austin, his, his career is certainly not over. Uh, mm -hmm. We've had all 32 NFL teams through to see him over the you know, the course of the season. Um, spent a great deal of time with him this morning, mm -hmm. and, and 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 another representative from the from the NFL. So uh, he's got some opportunities. Billy Lewis, his leadership will be greatly missed. You know, Jimmy Lauer's work ethic. Um, you know, it was a really really strong group of seniors. Mm -hmm. uh, McCann, Subi on the O line. You know, those guys. You know, they mean so much to us. You know, as far as you know, you look back to what they were recruited into. There wasn't mm -hmm. a whole lot. Of, of course, we had the stadium and the facility and such, but you know, we weren't winning. It, you know, the, the the whole concept of winning the MAC it's always been there, but it was you know it was it was conceptual at that point. And those guys bought in and and really did a nice job. And I'm really really happy for them to to have them walk away with the first conference championship. Buying into any sort of program that the one that's not winning yet is is tough to get out of a, a youthful group of players and they definitely did that and you know brought a, a winning tradition to your program absolutely and, and you think back to when you know when you first meet those guys in high schools they were you know 18 17 18 years old and you know hey we're gonna do this and mm -hmm. you know you're kind of you know, they're looking at you with the glazed eyes like yeah right but you know they, they believed in what we were doing I, I think they believed in the university as a whole which I think is probably the most important piece you know, yeah, they, they wanted to play football, and yes, they wanted to be part of building a, a, a great football program, but I think they bought into the university as a whole, mm -hmm. which, you know, we tell recruits that all the time. You know, we want you to love Stevenson, not just Stevenson football, and I think those guys really embody that spirit and, and embody what we want from a student athlete here. And talking to, over the course of, you know, the student athletes as a whole, you know, Stevenson promotes a sense of community and family or one of our main core reasons of coming here. And they definitely did that with their teammates on the field and then off the field as well. Absolutely. The, the, the amount of community service work that gets done out of our office is remarkable. And it's it's interesting because, and, and I think we, you and I have talked about this before, I always feel like we do community service. We take so much more than we give. Mm -hmm. um, you know, and the, and the lessons that our guys have learned and, and guys come to us now, hey, when are, when are we going to do the reading? When are we going to go do the Special Olympics? They want to get it on their calendar because they really enjoy mm -hmm. giving back to the community. So it's, it's a quite remarkable group from, from a number of perspectives. And I think for us, they've really set the standard high for our program moving forward. They definitely do set the standard high off the field as well as on the field. You guys had a really strong defensive core. You touched on some of those guys too, but also in the wide receiver core this year. Yeah, you know, it, you know that's a young group too. You know, with with Devin and, and Preston coming back as as just juniors, um, you know, it's, they're going to be fun to watch. I mean, the only guy we lose out of that group is is Tyler Cherigo. Mm -hmm. um, you know, Tyler had a really interesting career. Probably one of the hardest working players I've ever coached, and. You know, if you go back, and, and I haven't done it yet, I'll, I'll get to it at some point this spring, 
I think almost all of his catches were on third and eight plus when we needed a big play. Mm -hmm. You know, and they used to, you know, Randy Moss, all he did was catch touchdowns. And I joked with Tyler in his exit interview yesterday, I said, all you did was catch first downs. You know, and again, I don't know that he realizes how big some of those catches were to sustain drives mm -hmm. in big football games. You know, he's not the he's not the flashy guy. He's not the super explosive guy. Just the worker that, that would find a way to get open in big spots. And, you know, he'll be missed. But, but looking at what's coming back, it's a very dynamic core of guys. And we've got a really solid group of, of freshmen and sophomores that are behind them that we're really excited to see them grow through the spring as well. And strong uh, in the quarterback unit as well. Yeah, you know, and I think we talked about this after after the game up in Chester. Um, you know, I think three of the most critical plays that we had this year um, came from a backup quarterback. And, mm -hmm. and, you know, those three completions were so huge to sustain a drive. Um, you know, Steve did a great job coming off the bench. You know, Dan was remarkable all year. And I think the thing with Dan that, that that's probably the most exciting for, for us as a staff is – he's only going to get better. He's just a sophomore. Right. And so for us to look at him and say, you know, he's still got the best part of his football career ahead of him is very, very exciting for us. And, you know, he did a remarkable job. You know, it was interesting to watch him. You know, I caught him a couple of times gesturing, you know, to the press box and communicating with the offensive coordinator who's 100 yards away, you know, knowing that, that they know exactly what each other are thinking in particular situations is, is very exciting to watch. You know, he's now started to include himself in game plan meetings and things like that, which is quite remarkable for a young man, you know, that's just a sophomore. Um, so, yeah, you know, again, he's going to have to go compete. You know, Steve wants that spot too. Mm -hmm. And I think, you know, it's one of those things where that healthy competition is going to make them both very, very good. And competition is always healthy, and one place that competition is never short in is the MAC, and you guys were able to win that this year. How do you move forward uh, going into spring ball and the winter off season and get ready to come back and defend that title? Well, I, th I think it's it, it's like anything else. You know, the, the MAC anybody can beat anybody, as as we learned. Um, you know, we, we we that was a hard lesson for us in Week Ten to have uh, to have Wilkes come here and, and beat us, and I think it kind of opened some eyes of some guys. And and you know, we we can talk about it all you want to, but it's kind of one of those things you you, you hate to experience it, but you're so much better mm -hmm. coming out of the other side. So for us, it's it's going to be hard work. You know, we've not been on the other side of it yet. You know, and how we handle the success and how we handle. You know, our business in the off season is going to directly impact how we perform in in the fall. And you know, we're going to get things started off. Um, you know, our opener this year is against a team that finished ten and one, and mm -hmm. likely will finish in the top twenty five. And you know, we're going to have to come out of the gate, you know, ready to go. And again, you know, not to discount what North Carolina Wesleyan's done. They're they're a building and growing program. Mm -hmm. Well, now we're going to go test ourselves against an established program, a program that. Um, you know we're going to directly recruit against over the next couple of years and there's so there's a lot of familiarity between the two programs so it's going to be a challenge for us you know we we've got to we've got to replicate and improve upon all of the things that we did this past year well coach we wish you the best of luck moving into this uh postseason or off season as it would be um and appreciate you coming up and meeting with us every week and congratulations on a really strong season this year thank you very much you know again thank you you know, and, and the rest of our staff, you know, the support staff is, is awesome here. And, you know, everybody was everybody was uh, behind us 100%. It makes it a really fun place to be. It is a fun place to be, Stevenson as a whole. And watching the football team being ranked out on the field was, was really special for us, too. Thank you. He's Ed Hoddle. I'm Joe Wamba, and this has been the Coach's Corner. <laughs>